Hi guys, it's Greta here to talk about WAD 9 for the Fast Fit Scale Group. So this one's a doozy. Make sure that you set aside plenty of time for it. For time, you've got 10 up-downs from an object, 25 push-ups from an object, or if you want to do them from your knee, that's fine. Knees. 25 on each side of step-ups, 50 sit-ups, and then 75 air squats to finish it off. Now, uh, an important thing to note on this one is there's no partitioning of movements or of reps on this one. And what that means is you just have to go straight through in the order that it's written. So you have to get all 10 of the up downs done before you move on to the 25 push ups. That doesn't mean that you have to do all 10 or all 25 in a row. It just means that you can't start doing the push ups until you finish all 10 of those. And you can't start doing the step ups until you finish all 25 of the push ups. If you have any questions about what that means, just let me know or just literally do it in the order that it's listed. All right, let's go through the standards for this. For the step downs from an object, we're gonna continue with walking feet out and then back in just to make it better for those members who are in apartment buildings. So hands on the object, walk your feet out, walk them back in, and then arms up overhead. You don't have to do a heel raise, just walk out, but down as much as possible, feet back in, hands overhead. After that, you've got 25 push-ups from an object. So hands on that push-up or hands on that object, hips down as much as you can, getting as much range of motion as you're able to. If it feels better to have your hands grabbing onto the item, you can also do that. If you prefer to do push-ups from your knees, that's just fine as well. Then we've got 25 step-ups for this one. And that's 25 on each leg. Up to you whether you want to do them alternating or whether you want to do them on each side. However, you can keep track of them both. So just coming up, make sure you've got full extension with that leg as it comes up. So not like this. These would not be reps. I want you to come up, get full extension, squeeze that butt at the top, and then bring your feet back down. Then we've got 50 sit-ups or crunches on this one. So if you have an ab mat that you like to use, go ahead and do that. Soles of your feet together, coming up. Hands uh, coming above your head. They don't have to come all the way to the ground. And then coming up, hands coming at least past your knees. So hands just coming someplace over your head and then past your knees. If it feels better to do crunches, you are more than welcome to do those. Feet together or feet down on the ground. Belly button pulled in, back flat to the ground. Hands hovering just outside your ears, so no pulling on your ears. Eyes up, chest up on that. Driving that lower back into the ground. So crunches are just fine. And then last but not least, we've got those 75 air squats. So on this one, wherever your body takes you, so coming down to that whatever your range of motion your body takes you to, big thing, just like with the lunges, full extension of the hips at the top. So not squats like this, full extension. All right, guys, have some fun with this one. See you soon.